I'm super excited to be sharing my awesome product line with you guys. So we've been working on this for quite a while and I've been keeping this a secret, but I'm super excited to finally share it with all of you. So I'm just gonna wait for a couple of you guys to get in here and then we can start revealing all the awesome products I've been working on. Wanna say where people are coming in from? I can't see who, but there are people Thomas. coming. Awesome. Okay, good to see you guys. I'm super excited here from Creativation, and I'm ready to share all my stuff. So, the first part of the line is the ink pads. So there are 12 different colors of ink pads, and these are a water-based ink pad that are really great for stamping, but they also can react with water and do some awesome techniques. Um, and because on all of my cards, I like to do lots of different water techniques, that was super important to me, as well as really great stamping. I'm going to pull out all these colors and then quickly run through them, go over some of the fun color names, and look at all of them. So first here we have Rosy Cheeks, and we did a little bit of a swatch for all of these so you guys can see the color really well there. Yeah. Yeah. So this one is the Rosy Cheeks color. And here is the color that it turns out on the paper. So this is the color watercolor. And then here it is solid. So when it stamps, it'll stamp that really nice solid color once you're done. And then you get that really cool watercolor technique too, which was really important to me since, again, I use that on all of my cards. So I do different ghosting techniques with stencils, and these inks react with water really well. Then we'll move on to Bee Sting. I love this color. It's a really nice red. Um, I'm not really a huge fan of super bright colors. So these are bright, but they're a little bit more muted too. They've got a little bit of a kind of mid-tone undertone to them. So we've got that really nice red there, and then in watercolor it's really nicely like this. So I just put that on my surface, sprayed it with a little bit of water, and created that really cool watercolor effect. Now let's move on to Traffic Cone. I love this orange color. Again, it's that kind of mid-tone color. I really love mid-tones, where they're, you know, that kind of bright color, and then, you know, they've got a little bit of more muted to them, so they're not a super basic color. Um, this is really my favorite color palette. So this is the Traffic Cone color. It's that really nice orange with a little bit of kind of peach to it. And then you get that really cool watercolor below there too. Then let's move on to Over the Moon. And this is a really nice light yellow color. So you've got this at the top, that really nice solid yellow. And then that really light watercolor in there. There's that really cool soft color. And let's move into Slippery When Wet. And this one is awesome. It's that um, kind of nice dark yellow color. It's a little bit more muted, and then I really love the watercolor once it's done. So it goes into that nice bright yellow once it's watercolored. And when you spray some of these, they turn a little bit brighter, I find, which is really awesome. Okay, so moving on to overzealous. This one really is kind of an overzealous, super bright green. So I've got that swatch there, and then we've got that really fun watercolor. It's almost like a lime color, and I really love this tone. So then let's move on to later gator love this one. It's a nice green. So this one's a little bit darker. Some of these colors are going to layer really nicely together when you do your stamping and blending. So you've got that nice dark green up there. And then once it waters out, you've got that really nice color too. You can see it kind of goes into a lighter green and then you got some of those darker green splotches in there depending on how much water you add to it. Now let's move into a blue. This is Clear Skies. Now this one is a nice light blue really like clear skies it's a really awesome color so you've got that nice blue once it's swashed out up there and then that nice water color beneath it too now let's move on to remember me this one is super awesome it's a nice um, teal blue color with that really nice swatch there and then down below again some more watercolor and these are really really awesome for watering out but again it was really important for me to do that nice solid color so that when it stamps it creates a really awesome effect now here's the triple berry. I love any kind of berry, so this one is really awesome. Again, that nice purplish, kind of magenta color, and then that really awesome color once it's watered out. And then let's go into my two favorites. These are actually named after my dogs. So we've got Gur and Wolf here. So one of my dogs loves to growl at anything. His, cat, his tail will be wagging and he'll be growling. So we decided to name this one Gur after him. It's that really nice chocolate, kind of rich color. We've got that awesome watercolor down there. And then Woof is named after my other dog. And he's more of a soft-spoken little guy, so we named it Woof. And we've got that really awesome kind of warm gray color. And then again, that really nice watercolor below it. 
So I want to quickly talk about these ink pads here. So we're going to be sting quickly here. Now this is a felt-based ink pad, which is really important to me because I'm kind of rough when I'm inking. So I want to make sure that when you're inking it, it's not going to kind of smush into your stance. And then once you press it, you get a really nice ink payoff on your finger. Um, so you can use this on a craft sheet or on your cardstock, and it's really great for blending, stamping, and all different techniques as well. Um, so I'm going to be sharing lots of these things throughout the next days of the show. So we'll be filming more lives and things like that, and hopefully other people will take videos too so you can see more of this product in action. So I'll just quickly wipe off my finger, and we'll move all these inks off to the side. And we can move on to talking about the stamps and the more design aspects of it. And also these do have reinkers too. So this is really awesome. You can go in and reink the ink pads with these. It gives kind of a whole other life to your ink pad. And also, I'll show some fun ways to use these for watercolors and videos in the future and maybe um, online here too. So then let's talk about the stencils. Now these are the four stencils that we came out with and I absolutely love stenciling. So I wanted to kind of get some really cool designs in here. So this first one is a little bit different. This one is the Floral Builder stencil. So it's got all these different floral designs here. And I wanted to create this because I love stamp layering, but sometimes I don't love that you always get the really dark effect when you're layering your stamps up. So this one is really fun because we have all these different flowers and they don't really look like much right now, but once you kind of layer them all together, they create really beautiful florals in the end. And the cool part about having a stencil is you can kind of blend it and shape it how you want and you don't have to have that solid image once you're done. So we'll look at a quick sample here. This is that flower all done. This is done with texture paste here, but you could do it with just inks as well. You put that really awesome completed floral look, and you can see I went in there with two different tones of the color, kind of blended it a little bit and shaded it. And then you've got all the different leaves and different types of florals in here too to build your whole scene um, and create lots of different flowers. Then for this next one, this one is called Backsplash, and I absolutely love this intricate design here. It's kind of like a star kind of pattern, it's really nice and intricate there. And you'll see it on lots of cards, in fact I actually used it on this tag in the background. Yeah, because it pairs really nicely so, like, with those florals other, as like, well, definitely. and you get a really awesome look to it. So this one's called Backsplash. Whenever I'm naming the products, I don't really name it after the pattern, I name it after something that I kind of think of maybe in a house or design-wise, so this one is Backsplash. Then we have this nice raindrop stencil. Now this is perfect for creating scenes. You'll see it on some of the cards that I made too. And with all my stamps, it goes really nicely to create really awesome kind of rain scenes. And this one is called Looks Like Rain, which is so much fun. We've got those really awesome raindrops and they're a little bit irregular too. So they're not perfect, which I really love. Some of them are a little bit um, kind of more jagged on the edges, which is really awesome. Creates some really cool texture there. Now this next one is called the Stargazer Stencil, and this one is super awesome. It's got all these different stars on here, bigger and smaller stars, you've got a nice variety there. And then it's got these little constellation lines in between it, so you can create really awesome nighttime skies, do some awesome ink blending over this, and it really creates a great look on your cards. Again, great for more scene building. So then let's move on to the background stamps. Now these ones I love. These are made by Stampers Anonymous with us, and they did a really awesome job creating these stamps. So I wanted to make sure that with the backgrounds that they're red rubber, so they stamp really nicely. So if you're a really big fan of red rubber, these are gonna do a great job stamping on all your projects. And also they have this printed on the actual um, gray foam here. And that's really nice for me because when I put this in my storage, I wanna be able to see exactly what design it is. So it's really awesome that they were able to do that. And I really love that Stampers Anonymous really did a great job on these red rubber stamps. So also, I wanted to quickly mention, I did do these in 6x6 because I'm a card maker and I like to think of you guys as well who are also card makers. So with this, you can turn it on um, this side of the card or you can stamp it this way. You can kind of turn it and get different corners. I wanted to make sure that that was really important to me so you don't kind of stamp a stamp and then have a border around it and have to cut that out. So you really get the full face of the card or you can cut down little pieces as well. So this first one is called Flower Garden. I love that this is a nice solid kind of design stamp. And then it's got all these fun little stitching details in the middle of the flowers. A really awesome background design to create with your cards. And I did some really cool cards, kind of blue blending, doing some different um, water techniques with this. And I think it looks really cool in the end. Now this next one is called Painted Lines. And I think you always need a basic like this in your stash. But I didn't just want to do any plain lines or anything like that. 
So we did these really cool kind of irregular lines. Um, so kind of drawn with a marker almost. You got that really awesome kind of effect in there. And I couldn't do this with a marker if I tried. So I like having it already pre-done for me on cards. And you can stamp this down again either way. So if you want your stripes to go horizontally or vertically on your cards, you can stamp it whichever way you want. And this, and this one's really cool because you can actually stamp it one way and then stamp it the next way to get a really cool plaid almost design, which is awesome. Now this next one is a wood grain, and I love this one too because it's got those thin wood grain lines in it. So when you stamp this on a craft card stock or anything like that, it really looks like wood, and I absolutely love that. I pair this up with some of my critters and um, stamps like that to create a really awesome background. And this one's called Splinter. Now again, you can stamp it horizontally or vertically, and I really like that. So I'm not going to choose the way your wood grain goes on your card. You can put it whichever way you want, um, which is really great. Now this next one is classic flannel. Now I absolutely love this design. I'm obsessed with um, flannel patterns and things like that. And so when this one was created, Kelly designed it with this edge here. Um, so it doesn't have these darker spots on the edge. And I'm a little bit OCD and I didn't love that at first, but then she said that the pattern can repeat, which is really awesome. So if you stamp this once and you're doing maybe a scrapbook page or anything like that, you can stamp it right again next to it and it continues the pattern. Or if you're doing you know, a longer card, that would be great for you as well. And again, your flannel pattern can be stamped whichever way you want it on your card, which I think is really great about the 6x6 stamps. So that's it for my background stamps there. And now we're gonna move on to these stamps. So I hand drew all of these. I love how these turned out and I'm super excited to share them with you. These are kind of designs that I've always wanted um, and now I can finally kind of turn them into stamps with Render and do a really great job at it. Now I wanted to quickly talk about these two. These are photopolymer stamps. So I really um, was gonna make sure that they're photopolymer because I love to work with photopolymer stamps. I think they stamp best for card making and I know lots of you guys um, love to use them as well. So I wanted to make sure that they were really that great quality. Again, by Stampers Anonymous. And now let's look right into the stamps. So this one is called Space Training. Now what I love about this set, is we've got all these fun little critters and this little guy right here. And these can stamp right inside of this astronaut home, which is super awesome. So you can stamp any of these inside here, just mask the bottom with a little bit of tape, and then stamp them down and you've got a great image to color on your card. Now this little fish and bird also fit right inside this little helmet. So you've got those two different sizes for all these critters. Then you've got that fun rocket ship. And then also I wanted to make sure that there were these awesome um, letters at the top. So each of these letters are separate and you can spell different words with them. So I kind of wanted to do, um, you know, a play on some of those stamp sets where you stamp different letters and then stamp, you know, a kind of image for the O. So here we're going to do, you know, you can stamp love or you can stamp, you know, hello and then use the astronaut helmet for the O if you want to, which I think is really awesome. It makes for a great card and I love these space backgrounds. So having these critters to do that is really great. And also you can stamp these critters by themselves too, um, which is really awesome. So if you like just how these look, you know, you've got a lot of versatility in this set to use it all together or to use it separately. You can use these letters separately too, as I did on some of the samples to create some really awesome cards with the florals or whatever you want. Now this next one is called Trampoline Friends. And I've been thinking of this one for a long time and I absolutely love it. So on here we have all these little critters and they're all jumping on the trampoline, which is really fun. So they've all got these fun action poses. You have the little monkey down there, the little cat who's kind of spread out. And then you've got, you know, this really fun squirrel doing a backflip. His tail is nice and curled in. Look at that little bird. I absolutely love that. He's a little bit scared of that trampoline. Then we've got this fun little dog up here too. And then there's also this tree in here. So if you want to do a background with just the tree, you can use that too. Or you can kind of stamp the tree next to the trampoline and make some of them kind of falling out of the tree or, you know, reaching up to it. It's really up to you. And then we gave them all little images to kind of pair along with them. So you got a little bone, a nest, um, a carrot. And then with this, the trampoline has that really awesome texture in it. You'll see that in some of the samples too. And I wanted to make sure that that texture was nice and in there so it looks like a real trampoline with that net texture. Can you hold that one up, Simon? Just yeah. like more verticals? Yeah, here you go. So it's got that really cool texture in there. Look at that, that is just awesome. So no matter how much ink you apply to that or stamp it down, it's always gonna have that really awesome texture and create a really great look on there. Now this next one is called Bestest Friends. I think all my English teachers are cringing right now, but I named it that because it's got all these little kids in here. So um, with the bestest friends, you got that little um, sentiment, bestest person ever, um, or to the bestest friend ever. And this is really great. I thought it was perfect for these little kids that are in here. So you've got this, um, these two little bears with different poses here. So you can make them holding the umbrella or all the different images in here. 
and then you've got him sitting down too so you can hold some stuff maybe the planter or the little birthday present and then the really awesome part about this is it's got these two little kids in here they're both holding their arms out and so is the bear so you can you know add whatever you want in here and make it your own you can make them holding the banner or I thought it was really fun too we drew some little Starbucks cups in here you can make the whole bear holding the little Starbucks and then the two kids holding the Starbucks as well and that's really awesome so I've got all these fun images in here too so you can really kind of mix and match these and use them for all your card making projects which is super awesome now this next one might be my favorite one that I did. So this one's called Dudes 2, and I thought this was just perfect for our industry. It was definitely necessary. We don't have a lot of stamp sets with little guys in it, and everybody asks me, you know, how do you make a masculine card? And sometimes I struggle to answer that, you know, maybe add a little bit more brown into your card. But this stamp set really will help you do that, and I hope you guys will really love it as well. So you've got all these different images in here, three different bodies, and then three different heads as well, so you can mix and match them. I didn't want to add the head onto the body, so I wanted you to have your own choice to do whatever you want and create your own little character. Now, of course, we got a little dog in there because dog is man's best friend, so we wanted that little guy in there. And then we've got all these different, you know, things you can dress it up with, whether it's, you know, that screwdriver, it, or a little art palette or paintbrush or bow tie or things like that. You can kind of personalize it to whoever you're making the card for. So whichever guy in your life you're making that card for, you've got all these fun images to do so. And then you've got, you're driving me crazy to go along with that fun screwdriver there. You're so darn old, which I absolutely love. And then you've got those just fun basic sentiments in there that are really awesome. And then, you know, you've got the hey and dude. And then I think I made you a card is here too. Yeah, right there. I love that sentiment there too. So you've got all these awesome images in here. I definitely want to do some more of these kind of stamp sets. I think they are really awesome and I think you guys will love them as well for making those masculine cards and um, the little kids as well. This would be great. So now, I hope you guys really enjoyed seeing all the products. And now there's one more. I've got this fun card stack over here. So I wanted to quickly overview this with you guys. So this is called the Stark White Card Stack. And I named it that because it really is just that. It's really a stark white, a really bright white card stock. Now I did it in full sheets so you guys can put it down to make a card lengthwise, or if you're making a card the other way, you can put it down this way. Or you can just put it down to card panels, or if you want to use the full sheet, that's perfect as well. So I really wanted you guys to have that versatility to put it to whatever size you want it. It comes in a pack of 10 and it's a 110 pound card stock which is just perfect for card making. So I really love using this cardstock and it takes the inks perfectly. So it really does a great job of you know, doing some of those watercolor techniques, um, takes the ink really nicely onto here. And if you're doing something super water heavy, you're gonna wanna move over to another watercolor cardstock, but this will take some of those watercolor techniques really nicely as well. But it really holds that ink in there and gives you a super bright color. So let's move over to the sample board over there. I want to show you guys some of the products in use and some of what I was able to do with some of them. And then I'm excited to see all of what you guys are going to create as well. So all these products are shipping in February. So if you guys are interested in these, I cannot wait for you guys to get your hands on them. And be sure to reach out to your local retailers as well. Let them know that you want to get some of the time and really create products in their stores. And then hopefully they'll be able to get those things all of you. So you can start creating some of these awesome products. So let's go head over to that board over there and you can look at some of the samples that I created for the so here you see all the fun swatches for all the different viewers here. You again see them watercolored, and then we've got the stenciling there. And I also did a stamped image on each one of these, so you can really see how clear and crisp every one of those stamps super nicely. Now let's move into the cards here. So again, I go super ink heavy on all my cards, and that's why I wanted the base of my line to be these really awesome inks that you can use on almost everything. Um, so we got this really fun one here with that dude's two stamp set. And then we've got the you know watercolor from the slippery when wet in the background. Now with this one, I cut up that floral background stamp. So you can really use those individually or as the whole background. Your, your choice is yours, you know, you can really create with whatever you want. And then I took all my different inks and just kind of smeared them onto the cardstock, added a little bit of water, and you get that really awesome look onto there. Now with this one, I kind of went into that floral builder stencil, and instead of just using ink with the ink blending tool, I decided to go in with a water brush instead. So I did some water coloring. It looks a lot messier, but I absolutely love that. It looks like I pre-handed these florals, which is super fun. Now with this one, it's, I used that little fish for the love, that little astronaut helmet. Put the little fish inside there, and then it says love you to the moon and back. And this is one of my stencils in the background too. I did a little bit of embossing with that, and then added a little bit of ink back there to do some water coloring. Now moving down to all of these, this is that little bear there with the stencil in the background. And the little bear is holding the little cake and birthday hat. And then you have the cheer to the bestest person ever. And these are all my inks as well used in the background there. So again, you can see that really cool watercolor effect. 
And then if you put them on your craft sheet as well, all of these images are watercolored in with the inks, which is really great. I wanted an ink that can do it all. So whether you're stamping or watercoloring, you can really do lots with it. Now this one's super fun. I stamped that little, you know, striped line background a couple different times. And again, you can see I did that kind of pattern there. So it creates a really cool texture with different colors. And then you got that little bird in there. It's been light years catch up. I love that. And then you got these two little trampoline guys here from the Trampoline Friends stamp set. So these ones are colored in with colored pencils, but this whole background is using my inks here. And then I did that fun star stencil in the background as well and stamped that cool trampoline. And look at that awesome texture there. I just love how that turned out. Now with this one again, I did those florals. Now this one is just with ink here. So I did those florals in with just ink blending and then created that fun background with that um, backsplash stencil. Now this is what I was talking about with those fun coffee cups and those little kids with the bestest friends. And we used that line stamp again there. And that looks really awesome. I love those fun little kids paired up with that bear. And they all got their little drinks in hand and ready to go. Now with this one, I actually created a spinner card. So it goes all the way around there with that little rocket ship. And that's so much fun. So it's I love you to the moon and back. And you can create some cool interactive cards with the stamp sets as well, which is really great. And then that's a little stargazer pencil in the background as well. Now here are my two dogs. I used the Dudes 2 stamp set to stamp those two with little birthday hats on. And then it says one year older, not wiser. I absolutely love that. And these two dogs look exactly like mine, um, which is so awesome. And then we've got the You're Out of This World card. Now this one is an action wobbler. So again, you can use it by itself. Or you can use it with the letters. This one I just did by itself. And then I stamped the little boy there. Um, and you can see in there. And I colored that in with my inks again. Now I'll go quickly through these last couple samples. I've watercolored this one with those balloons and created that really awesome little boy flying in the sky there. Now this one I just used the tree and did some cool watercoloring there. So again, you can use this tree just by itself. And then with this one, I again put a little action wobble on there and there's that little guy um, with the little hugs. I absolutely love that. And that little texture that's in that stamp set fits in his sweater too, which is super awesome. So you can create your own different kinds of sweaters with that. Now this is that floral background down there. If you're into more kind of sophisticated, beautiful cards, this is a really great way to use that to create that. And then here we have the two little guys from Dudes 2. Birthday, you deserve a treat. And then these are all my watercolors in the background again. But if you mix some of the colors, you get a really awesome skin tone as well. Now again, another really kind of more sophisticated card. I used that plaid background stamp there for a really graphic background of my inks. And then I did that in some black ink there to kind of add on to the background with the floral builder stencil. So I hope you guys really enjoyed seeing the look at my card. I cannot wait to see your whole reaction to it. All of you guys creating with it. I'll go back and um, respond to some comments on there too. And I really just cannot wait for you guys to get these cards in your hands and in all your retailers so you guys can start shopping and creating with the signing program.